Hi everyone, it is Zigzag here, and welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. A few weeks ago, the YouTube algorithm started heavily promoting a video called AI Learns to Play GeoGuessr by Adam. In this video, which is really good, and is linked at the top of the description, he codes an AI to play GeoGuessr on the USA map, and it's impressively successful. In case you haven't seen the video, which I highly recommend you watch, I'll now put a one minute clip in which Adam explains how the AI works. But I'd highly recommend you watch the whole video and subscribe to his channel. After some experimenting with different designs, the best solution that I found was this. Let me explain. Instead of having an AI guess the exact location of an image, we'll have it predict the square it belongs to on this map. Each square is approximately 340 miles tall and 360 miles wide, so being able to predict the correct square would result in a fairly accurate guess. However, the way AIs like this work is that they won't predict exactly one square it belongs to, but give a confidence level to each square. When we give our AI a street view image, it should give us something like this. The darker the square is, the more confident the AI is that the image belongs to that square. We can determine a final guess, marked by the pink dot, by taking a weighted average of the centers of each square using their corresponding confidence levels. The higher the confidence level of a square, the closer the final guess will be to the center of that square. This was the first location that GeoGuessr put us in. As you can see, the area is pretty flat and dry. I decided that moving around a little bit was fair game to try and get the best picture possible. Once I found an image that looked good, I took a screenshot of it. I gave the image to the AI to predict its location, and this is what it gave us. As you can see, there are a lot of darker boxes in the center of the United States, showing that the AI is confident that it's somewhere in this area. Using the weighted average of these boxes and their corresponding confidence levels gives us a guess of a latitude of 39 degrees and a longitude of negative 100 degrees. I then put these coordinates into Google Maps and try and get as close as I can to that location on the GeoGuessr map by slowly zooming in on both maps. The final guess ended up being pretty close at just 153 miles away earning 3,700 points for this round, and as we can see we did get it in the correct state of Kansas. After 5 games, the AI had an average score of just under 15,000 points per game. This is noticeably better than the average human score of just under 10,000 points per game. So, without further ado, it's time to jump into GeoGuessr and see if we can actually beat that average score of 14,813. So let's get into it and uh, see how I go. Of course, we're going to be playing on no move, no pan, no zoom, because that's pretty much what the computer had to do as well. So, let's get into it. Okay, I did not expect to do as well as the computer, but I would like to think that I could at least give it a shot. So, hmm, this one's interesting. It's Generation 4. I do wonder... It feels more like uh, perhaps Pacific Northwest or maybe even Hawaii. We've got like mountains in the background here to the west. I almost feel like this is Hawaii, which would be a weird way to start the video. I think that's where it is. I'm gonna go for it. This is my first guess of the day. So I'm gonna say we're in Honolulu here. Okay, so that's 11 kilometers. That's a really good way to start. I don't even think that Hawaii was originally counted. I, I, I was gonna mention that it would be weird for uh, Alaska and um, Hawaii to be included, so hmm, not really sure if we can count that too well, but uh, <laughs> I'll take it. It's my human advantage, right? This one's interesting. We've got some red brick buildings. Oh, it doesn't feel... I don't think we have a uh, front license plate on that uh, car over there. Can't see what the other license plates are like, but I think we're probably up uh, on the east coast here, is my opinion. Um, but maybe without a front license plate, could we be in like West Virginia or something like that? Yeah, that's kind of what I want to go for. Maybe, um, so somewhere like Indiana, West Virginia. I don't know. The fact that that car doesn't have a front license plate is throwing me off. Um, but I'm going to go for Indiana, I think actually. Okay. It was actually in Nashville, Tennessee. So, uh, a decent school. We lose our state streak there. Hmm. This one's also interesting. Uh, this one, I would say, has more of a West Coast vibe to it because of these trees here. So I'm thinking California. Um, I think I'm going to go for like Sacramento or something like that, maybe near San Francisco. Um, but I'm really not sure. This could be where we lose a lot of points. I'm going to go for it though. Okay, so it's actually outside of Seattle in Tacoma, or just outside Tacoma there. So we've uh, dropped a lot of points, unfortunately. 
Uh, did remind me of Vancouver. Okay, this time we've got ocean to the east. And it was looking quite tropical, so immediately I'm thinking of Florida or something like that. Um, maybe northern Florida is what I'm thinking of. And so maybe I'm thinking somewhere near St. Augustine or something like that, because uh, it appears that we are right on the waterfront here. Um, we can read that stuff. Of course, as a human, I can uh, read text and stuff on the side of the road, which is something the AI certainly couldn't do. But I think the AI is better at the landscape stuff. So I'm going to go there. And uh, yeah, we're 69 kilometers away. So this has been a really nice first game. We've, uh, we've uh, already exceeded the uh, average almost. And this one looks like uh, New Mexico based on this um, cliff front in the background. So I did not expect to be beating the AI, but I think uh, that we are actually going to do it at least for this first round. So I'm going to click there. That's around where the... Okay, this one's actually... Oh, Grand Canyon's in Arizona, of course. Um, that's a big <laughs> blunder because I just went too quickly. But we've ended up with 17,000 for the first one. I'm actually pretty impressed with all of them except for the Washington one. Second round. This one's feeling... F Ooh. See, this is the first hard, hard round we've had, actually. I have to f say, it feels more East Coast to me. It's very green. Um, thinking more Southern... Um, but it's really hard to say. It could see this is where I run into problems because for me this could be anywhere from Louisiana up to Vermont, honestly. I'm going to say that this one is more southern. Perhaps in like northern Alabama is what I want to say. Okay, that is not too bad. Actually, the correct state. I did not expect to be getting the correct state there. Definitely had more of a southern vibe with the uh, foliage though. So we're, we're on to a good start again. This one, like, immediately, like, reminded me of New York, but we don't have yellow license plates. So I'm thinking somewhere near New York. Um, it seems to be, like, white license plates? Yeah. So I'm thinking... I don't really know. But uh, what about, like, uh, Connecticut or something like that? I think it's going to be somewhere in this area. So I'm going to go for Connecticut. And oh no, it's actually in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, so not a good score. We're falling behind the average required now. Ooh, this one feels more southern, based on the trees and whatnot, but I can't tell if it's uh, like going to be California or if it's going to be um, in the deep south on the east coast. Um, I'm thinking it's more east coast, but I can't tell, honestly. So, how about, um, like... Charlotte, or something like that. Okay, it's Houston. Interesting. So we've dropped a lot of points again. It's not good. Ooh, next one. Okay, this one feels more northern to me. Um, again, though, not really sure. We've got a lot of trees. And... Hmm. Not really sure, but I might... Come up... And say... Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe it's actually West Coast. No, I'm changing my mind. I think it might be like Oregon or something. I'm gonna go Oregon. Oh no, it's New York. Okay, <laughs> not good at all. And okay, this is like kind of the most even competition me and the AI have had. A nice background with rolling hills and whatnot. Um, this one kind of reminds me of like Washington. I mean, uh, Virginia. Kind of reminds me of Virginia. That's what I want to say, honestly. It's like kind of got rolling hills. Um, it's fairly green, but not too green. I'm going to say we're right there. Okay, not at all. This is, this is going terribly now. So we're on, we got 6,948, um, for the second one. So that is definitely working to bring our average down a lot here. Uh, so let's try again. That's only two down so far. So I'll have to calculate our average after the match is done. This one feels Southern, definitely. If I had to say, maybe like South Carolina, Georgia area, just based on the house and everything. Uh, but it could be much further north, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I want to go for South Carolina here. Okay, so it was actually Kentucky, but pretty pleased with that. 2,500 is not bad. Okay, this one, definitely looking more interior United States. 
um, the grass maybe feels a bit more northern to me, so I'm definitely thinking like South Dakota, Nebraska, maybe even North Dakota. Could be down in Texas or Oklahoma as well, or Kansas certainly. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go for South, South Dakota. Okay, it's actually in Missouri, uh, not one of the states I mentioned, and yeah, we're not picking up a terrible amount of points here, uh, but not a good one either, so let's move on to the next. Feeling more like East Coast to me, um, but what have I really known so far? Not too much. Not really sure what I think, um, but I'm going to, yeah, probably go South Carolina again, I think, because I'm not really sure. Actually, maybe I'll go to Delaware or something like that. Kind of feels a bit more northern than what I had it, I think. <laughs> it's the exact same place in Florida that I missed out on last time, so disappointing. This one's fairly green looking. This one definitely feels more northern. I'm happy not to go southern for this time. Maybe Pennsylvania or something is what I'm thinking. Could be even further north. Okay, it was actually Pitt Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So we actually got the state correct. I'm happy about that. And the final round, super green. Could this even be Puerto Rico? Um, I'm not sure if Puerto Rico is counted. I'm gonna guess on the contiguous United States anyway. So I'm gonna say we're right down here. And uh, okay, it's actually Hawaii. So the Hawaii, it helped us once, but it spit this in the butt once as well. So there we go, we've got 9,043 for the second one. So the average is not looking too good so far. You can see in this round, we had some good guesses. We had some bad ones. All right, next round. Let's see if we can uh, pull some proper guesses here. I can't read what it says in those signs, but we have this really interesting light brick here. We have front license plates, so that might indicate that we're further north, but of course we could still be in Texas or something like that. I'm not too sure what I think here. Could it be like St. Louis or Kansas City or something like that? I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm gonna go for Kansas City. Although, yeah, I'm really not sure with this one. Uh, okay, it's actually in Toledo, which is in Ohio. So not the worst points, but uh, I did not expect it to be Ohio to be fair. We're on a campus here. Not really sure what I think of this. We've got red bricks though, so perhaps it's East Coast. I'm going to go for Philadelphia. And okay, this one's in Louisville, which is in Indiana and Kentucky. But we uh, score 1,600 points. Next time, this one feels like Florida or something. It's very green. Um, some of the cars have front plates though. So perhaps it is Texas. Perhaps we are like um, down here in Texas where it's a bit greener. I think that's what I'm gonna go for. Yeah, 60 kilometers away. I knew it felt quite tropical, so that's why I guessed right down on the border. So that's our first get good guess in a while. And uh, wow, this is the type of thing that the AI would thrive in and I do not. So we got this white sand on the side of the road. And um, what are we really thinking here? I am thinking maybe Minnesota? I'm not really sure. I really am not sure here. I'm gonna say Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa area right here. Um, it kind of feels more northern to me, but I'm ready to be very wrong here. And uh, okay, there we go, that's a good guess. It's actually in Wisconsin. So um, we ended our state streak, but we got 3,800, which I'm very pleased with. And next time, okay, New York with the yellow license plates. Um, feels like it probably is in upstate New York, and uh, I'll just guess in Albany. And uh, okay, it's it's a bit further south, but we pull another 4,200, so we actually got 15,953 there. So I still feel like we are trailing the AI a bit here. We're going to need um, a high score to get up to the AI standard, I think. Okay, this one's generation two. I think this one actually might be in Alaska. It feels very northern, feels like Canada to me. So it's either Washington State or Alaska, surely, or maybe Montana. But uh, I would be I would be more tempted to go Alaska because of the Generation 2. And uh, I'm not really sure where to go in terms of it, but maybe I'll just go over here because there seems to be a bigger population down here. Okay, that's decent. So we've got 3,100 there, and we're actually on a two country streak as well. Have our first bit of Generation 1 footage here. This one kind of looks more like California to me though. I'm not entirely sure, but I kind of feel like it might be like Central California. 
Death Valley National Park. Could it be somewhere around there? Wouldn't be surprised. It's quite green though, so maybe I'll move it over somewhere between LA and San Fran. Not at all. That's in Missouri. I mean, the generation one makes it hard to tell, but um, that was not a good guess. Next up. Okay. Feeling relatively southern here. We've got some hills. Um, big open highway. Hmm. Yeah, definitely feeling southern, but I'm not sure if it's east or west coast. I'm honestly tempted to go California again. Um, but let me think where else it could be here. Could be uh, Arizona. Um, could be Texas. I think Texas is another big one that it could be. Arkansas, Oklahoma, could be any of them. But I still think I want to guess outside of LA. Hmm. A bit further north, perhaps. Maybe it's outside of San Fran. Okay, wow. All the way out in Washington? I guess it can get dry in these, like, rain shadows and stuff up there, but, uh, I did not feel Washington State on that. Very impressive. I feel like the, uh, AI got a really nice one on Washington State in that video, though. And finally, another rocky one. Generation 1 here again, so it's very washed out. It's the type of thing that the AI would do better than me on. But, uh, I'm gonna go Idaho and, uh, hope for the best here. And uh, that one is in LA, right where I tried to go for the other rounds. So we are on the final round here. Let's see if we have any redemption. Something Jamestown. Uh, so definitely probably more of an East Coast name, I would suggest. And yeah, I'm thinking anywhere between Virginia and like Connecticut, maybe even Vermont, somewhere up there. I'm going to guess in should I go Pennsylvania, Northern. It seems to be fairly flat. So actually, I'm going to go for New York. And uh, let's see. And I know it was Virginia. I did mention Virginia because it was a very English sounding name. But we end up with 2,600 there and 8,472. So here are the results. And you know, it's Mr. Consistent AI versus me peaking high early, having a few good rounds in there, sometimes getting right up in the 4,800, 4,900 range, but I'm missing out on the crucial you know, rural rounds, which is really where the AI shone. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching the video, guys. And, uh, you know, uh, I think it was really fun. I, he said, uh, Adam said that uh, there might be a world version of the AI coming. And that version, I think I could beat. So for the USA map, the AI has it, but uh, we shall see for the future. So, yeah, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.